Let's make this Hammond organ preset. You can download this preset along with 149 other useful presets in my pack called Sounds You Know. A link for that's in the description. So to get started with this one, let's talk about the Hammond organ. So the Hammond organ has these nine draw bars, and pulling out these draw bars will increase the volume of different frequencies from the harmonic series. And those frequencies you can see here. So for example, if I play a C and I have all the draw bars out, it's going to make this C, the C an octave above it, the G above that, the C above that. It's going to skip the fifth harmonic here. Then it's going to play the G here, it's going to skip the seventh harmonic, and so forth. So, needless to say, you can get a lot of different sounds from a Hammond organ based on which draw bars you're pulling out and how much you're pulling them. So our, for our preset here, basically oscillator 1 is going to be playing the first, third, and fifth draw bar frequencies, and then we're going to use oscillators 2 and 3 for additional frequencies, and then we're going to control those frequencies like you would a draw bar by using a macro. So to get started, initialize preset. On oscillator 1, let's go to factory basic shapes, then go to the wavetable editor. You can zoom in with your mouse's scroll bar like this. And basically what you want to do is turn up the volume of the first harmonic here. That way we can set the frequency, excuse me, the amplitude of the different harmonics to be the same. And it won't make it louder because it still normalizes. So add in the second harmonic, turn that all the way up, and then skip three harmonics and add in the sixth harmonic. Let's hear that. Now let's add in some more harmonics. We're gonna use these like draw bars. So turn on oscillator to two, basic shapes, and let's set this three octaves up to 36 semitones. And then open up oscillator three, same thing, basic shapes. And let's turn this one up to 43 semitones. So this one's a fifth above C, excuse me, uh, above oscillator two. So if oscillator two is C, then this one's a G. All right, so now let's use envelope two to control the amplitude of these three oscillators. So set the attack of envelope 2 to 0 0.02, and then turn down the levels of these three oscillators. Then drag over envelope 2 to those levels. And now let's control how much envelope 2 is controlling the amplitude of oscillators 2 and 3. So drag over macro 1 to the second and third modulations. And let's set the maximum amount here. So this is oscillator two to 0 0.15. And then the maximum amount for oscillator three will be 0 0.13. And now let's hear how it sounds if we turn up macro one. So as you can hear those higher harmonics come in and they come in at the same rate. So what you can do is if you want more independent control of those harmonics is you can uh, change the mod remap here. So for example, if I want uh, the top harmonic, oscillator three, to only come in after the halfway point here, I can do that by double clicking and dragging this down. So now once uh, macro one gets to 50% here, then the amplitude of oscillator 3 starts to rise, so let's hear that. So now we only have oscillator 2. Now as we turn this up, oscillator 2 will continue turning up, but so will oscillator 3. So you can set that up however you want. Let's uh, change the name of this to draw bars. And now let's add in a sample. So turn on the sample and go to factory jackhammer. This is the part where Bob Ross has painted a beautiful forest scene and then he splotches some orange paint on the middle of it and you think it's ruined, but then slowly but surely he turns that splotch into a beautiful sunset. So let's make this jackhammer into a beautiful sunset. So with envelope three, let's change the hold to 0 0.01 and the decay 
to 0 0.07. Now turn down the sustain all the way, then turn the level of sample all the way down and drag over envelope 3 to the level. Now let's hear that. Not quite the beautiful sunset I was hoping for, so let's turn on the filter and let's change this to a 24 dB filter. Then swing over the blend to the middle here at 1, which makes this a bandpass filter. Now turn down the resonance and then set the cutoff to 36. Make sure you only route in the sample. Let's add in about 15 dB of drive and then let's set the mix to 85%. And let's hear that. Beautiful. Now let's add in some vibrato and to do that let's use LFO1. So set LFO1 to seconds. Let's change the frequency to 0 0.16. Then hold shift and drag that over to the fine pitch of these three oscillators. And then I want to control vibrato amount with the macro. So I'm going to drag macro 2 over to those modulation amounts. And then I'm going to change the maximum modulation amount to 0 0.8, which should be plenty. Basically at 0 0.8, it's a very wide vibrato, wider than I'd probably ever use, but it's nice to have the option. So let's hear that. I think it sounds good at about 0 0.375. So let's label this macro vibrato depth. One little detail for this vibrato, let's set the phase of this oscillator to 0 0.25 so that it starts at the middle of our pitch. Now let's go over to effects. One really important ingredient to this recipe is some chorus. And an old Hammond B3 isn't usually going to be played through chorus, it's usually going to be played through a Leslie speaker. And a Leslie spins a uh, speaker really, really fast and it creates a really neat effect. Uh, you kind of get a Doppler effect, it gives it like a vibrato and a tremolo. And I think the best way to emulate that in Vital is with a chorus. So increase the depth all the way, set the unit to uh, seconds, and then set the seconds to five. Let's hear that. I'm going to turn down the volume. And now it's really starting to sound like a Hammond B3. So now let's uh, assign the mix to macro 3. So turn that all the way down, drag over macro 3, and let's set that to 0 0.5. And let's label this chorus. Now I'm going to add a compressor. So let's set the compressor to single band. Let's raise the threshold to about negative four. Then let's set the attack to 32. Lower the release all the way. Double click here to turn this off. And let's hear that. Oh, another orange splotch. What are we gonna do with this? Well, let's turn on the mix. Grab macro four, swing that over. And now, we have a lo-fi knob. So let's hear that. So as you can hear, a little goes a long way. I'm just going to set this to 0 0.2. And that sounds pretty good to me. Now, one more detail. I'm going to lower the spread here so it kind of sounds like uh, basically, it's coming from that Leslie speaker. Um, so I'm going to set this to 50. And you can lower it however much you want. Uh, I kind of like having it sound like, um, you know, the chorus isn't adding tons of width. It sounds like it's coming from that spinning speaker. But if you do that, if you lower the spread, I recommend you use an external reverb because this is applying to everything. If you have a reverb, you're narrowing the spread of that reverb too. So I'm using an external reverb for this one. Let's lower the volume a little bit. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching.